All right, continuing from the project from the last section, I'm gonna add a new XAML file to our project. So right click the shared project, add new file, forms content page XAML. I'm gonna call this stack page. So we get two new files, a XAML file and a C sharp file, which is our code behind. Now in the app class, I'm gonna set main page to stack page. So this is going to be the starting point of our application. Now let me show you something. In stackpage.xaml, first of all, I'm gonna apply a padding, 0, 20, 0, 0. So 20 units on the top. And this applies to all platforms. Now I could use on platform element to apply this padding only in iOS but it doesn't matter for the purpose of this demonstration. Now, inside this content page, I'm gonna remove this and add three labels. Label one, two, and three. Let's run this application and see what happens. Look, we only get label three. The first two labels disappear. The reason for that is inside content page, we can only have one element, one child. So if you wanna add multiple elements on a page, which is the case in most real world applications, you need to use a layout. We have different layouts. And in this lecture, we're gonna explore stack layout, which is one of the simplest layouts. So I'm gonna wrap these three labels inside a stack layout. Like this. With a stack layout, we can position multiple elements in a single line, vertically or horizontally. If I run the application now, you can see all the three labels on top of the screen. Now let me show you something. I'm gonna apply a background color to our stack layout, yellow. Run the application again. Note that the stack layout is taking the entire page even though it has only three items, three children. So by default, stack layout fills its parent, its container. But if I come back here and set vertical options property of the stack layout to any values other than fill, which is the default value, let's set it to center. Look what happened. So vertically, our stack layout is in the middle of the screen and it's no longer stretching to fill its parent. Its height is determined based on the height of its children, in this case, three labels. But note that horizontally is still stretching to fill its container. Again, we can come back here and set horizontal options to something other than fill. For example, center to put it in the middle of the screen or start, which results in something like this. Now let me show you something else about stack layouts. I'm gonna set horizontal options to center. So now it's going to be right in the middle of the screen. And now I'm gonna apply a background color to each of these labels. So background color, silver. Let's run the application. Note that there is a little space between child elements of our stack layout. We can change this using the spacing property. So in our stack layout, we can set spacing to zero if we want all these elements to be right next to each other or 20 if you wanna have more space. The default value is six, six units. I'm gonna talk about these units later on. So for now, don't worry about it. Now let's see the result. There you go. We also have a similar property called padding. So I'm gonna set padding here to 40. So padding is the amount of space between the layout and its children. So currently you see we have 40 units on each side. If you wanted to have padding only on the top, you would set it to a value like this. 0, 40, 0, 0. You have seen this before, right? So left, top, right, bottom. Now I'm gonna revert this back to 40 for simplicity. Let's look at another property of stack layout. Orientation. The default value is vertical. We can set this to horizontal. 
and this results in a layout like this. We can also nest a stack layout inside another one. For example, let's imagine we want to put an image or an icon right above label one. So inside our stack layout, we can add another stack layout and by default, its orientation is vertical. So we can move this label one here and right above that, I'm going to add an image. Set its source to HTTP colon slash slash placehold.it slash hundred times hundred. And this gives us a simple 100 by 100 pixel gray image. Now to make this easier to see, I'm gonna remove these background colors. So background color yellow of the stack layout and background colors of these labels. Let's run the application. Okay, this is what we get. So we have a main stack layout, which is horizontal. And inside this layout, we have another stack layout, which is vertical where we have the icon and label. We could apply the same technique for label two and label three. So we could put each of them in a vertical stack layout. So to recap, we use stack layout to position multiple elements in a single line, either horizontal or vertical. The key properties of stack layout you need to know are orientation, padding, spacing, vertical and horizontal options. And remember, by default, stack layout stretches to fill its container, unless you set its vertical or horizontal options to a value other than fill.